Hey guys, it's Jamie Thursday, so thanks for another Tower 143 video. <clears throat> this time we're going to be taking a look at the um, the changes made to the solar uh, solar eclipse. Hold on, I'm just getting the, ooh, I got the weather radio. Excellent. I'm only one piece away from making the um, full uh, thingy there. Okay, but anyway, once you do the, um, when you get through the jungle and beat the golem, well, you don't even have to beat the golem, actually. Just by getting into the jungle after Plantera, you get uh, solar fragments and solar tablets. Uh, you can combine eight solar fragments. Uh, here, I have some here. You can combine eight of these into a, um, a solar tablet. And what the solar tablet does is it um, it summons the solar eclipse. Let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and show that right now. <laughs> now, uh, let's see. Fritz. Okay, here's one of the one of the new new enemies from this for the solar eclipse. Let me see. Yep, that's around. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh, these peace candles. I don't know if uh, those affect the um, this at all. I'll leave the sunflowers there just because. Let's go ahead and. Uh, all of this stuff here as well. Yeah. Now let's see. We still have all the basic ones from before the thing. You have the Reapers, um, the eyeball things. Dr. Manfly, here's another new one. He seems to uh, throw uh, some sort of vial at you. Some sort of poisonous vial. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, whoops, I just realized I still have my fishing stuff on. There we go. <laughs> so there's, uh, there's a. Yep, here's the eyes. There's a few new drops. You can get the. Um, the uh, Oh, these guys make so many cool noises. Oh, what is this thing? Deadly Sphere. Oh, that's new. I don't think those uh, drop anything actually, but like from from I think the man flies, you can get the um you can get the thing that he drops. Hold on, this feels a little loud. Let me go ahead and just turn that down a bit. Uh, you can uh yeah you can get you can get the the uh, vials that he throws. You can of course get all the the basic stuff. I don't think anything. I think a lot of the new ones can still drop the, the broken hero sword. Although I'm not sure about that. Uh, creature from the deep. I think he has a unique drop too. I can't recall what it is. Keep an eye on my inventory to see if I uh, get anything anything interesting. But uh, I'll probably just go ahead and, and record this this whole thing just, just to see if we get anything new and kind of get a feel for some of the new enemies. I know there's uh there's references to basically everything here is a reference to uh, to some to classic horror movies like yeah the you me right now. Oh okay this uh, this nail head's shooting nails around. Jeez look at this guy. I uh, let's see who's this psycho. He has a he has a little knife. The knife is actually very. I very much so like to get the psycho knife because that seems very interesting. Um, it, like when you're using it, it makes you go like in some sort of stealth mode, and it, it just seems it just seems insane. You could do massive damage, and enemies won't see you. It uh, it seems pretty crazy. His eye sphere is uh, pretty sturdy. Jeez. Uh, -uh. <coughs> And, uh, let's see, the nail head I know dropped something, I can't recall what, but, um, yeah, you have references to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I believe you can get the, uh, the chainsaw from that guy. Oh god, it's Mothra. Or Mothron. Oh god. Just forgot about this one. You can get, uh, wings, I believe, from Mothron, or at least an item that allows you to make wings. Uh, oh jeez, I gotta, I gotta watch out for this one, I'm getting a little low on health here. Uh, seems to have quite a good deal of health up with these vampires here, jeez. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm doing alright now. Uh, yeah, Mothron has a lot of health. Oh my goodness, 1,200. That is, uh, as much as, like, a boss, so... Actually, that's more than, than a lot of the, the basic bosses. Or, or, yeah, that's certainly more than all the basic bosses. It's even comparable health to, like, uh... Doesn't the Destroyer have 1,200 health, actually? <laughs> I don't remember. He might have more. I don't recall. But, uh... Yeah, you potentially, I believe, get some, some unique wings from Mothron here. Uh, the first time I saw that, I thought it was uh, supposed to be a reference of Mothra from the Godzilla movies, but I'm not sure if that's actually the case. I don't know if Mothron's like a thing. I'm not sure. Uh, man, I really gotta, really gotta watch out here. Should have my um, Charm of Myths equipped, but uh, I like the shield better for, for general usage. <coughs> Gives you a lot of extra mobility that unfortunately I don't get to have in a lot of the boss fights. Come on, come on. We're just about done. Oh, he's... Really, really knows how to gain on you, jeez. Almost there. Come on, drop me something nice. I want to get at least a couple, at least one or two new drops here. Uh, no, nothing. Damn. I guess that doesn't look like I got anything. Uh, uh, nothing new yet, I don't think. This vampire right here. Oh dear. Quite a few, uh, quite a few fellows down here. Let's go ahead and just, oh, just fire into the crowd here. Still nothing new. I'm probably gonna have to do this several times because I want the Terra Blade, of course. So I'm gonna need it. Also, just a quick change: the Terra Blade only requires two broken hero swords total. Because I believe to craft 
Crafty, you just need the true Knight's Edge and the true Excalibur. I don't think you need both of those and another broken hero sword anymore. Which is which is always nice. Eh, still, still nothing new. There's an Izor. Uh, where's it? Oh, Nailhead. Jeez, get out of here. Nailhead's kind of a pain. He just kind of shoots stuff all over the. He's like a like a spiked slime, but you know, a bit a bit more deadly than that, I'd say. This is right in front of me, I can't even tell. Oh, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. My hearts, 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 hearts. Oh. No, no, no. That definitely is uh, pretty tricky on expert mode, not surprisingly. Most things are pretty tricky on expert mode, to be fair. There's really not a whole ton of things that are easy on expert mode anymore. God, that Izor is gonna kill me, actually. Or the nail head. One way or another, I'm gonna die very soon. That's all I can really tell for for sure here, because I'm like one oh I can use a healing potion, I'm stupid. Let me uh I should probably equip that. Probably would be best. Ah uh, jeez. Ah uh, jeez. Alright, alright, I think the yeah, Azor is finally dead. Good. He was actually being uh more annoying than I than they generally are. Usually they're they're pretty easy to take down. Yeah, basically oh sitting this goddamn na the nail heads are really the worst. <laughs> They can hit you in like a massive radius around themselves without them even really having to try. They just kind of do. They just like passively shoot nails all over the place. It's kind of rude. Oh, yep, like that. Just like that. Oh dear. Oh god, it's Mothron again. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I got a. Jeez, I got that much money. No one takes any of it. It's just a. It's a platinum coin sitting on the ground there. All right. Well. uh... I'm not getting a whole lot here, so I might just go ahead and end it off. You guys kind of get a get a feel for uh, for what they've had. Oh, I got the Neptune's shot. There we go. I don't know if I ever actually got that before you, the truth be told. That might be the first time I've gotten one of those. But, um, yeah, you, you kind of get a feel for, for how it goes. There's a lot more enemies, a lot more to worry about, because you have there's a, a ton of unique enemies that do very interesting things that uh, you haven't seen enemies do before. Like, uh, the Nailhead is kind of an example of that. Oh, the Butcher here is the uh, Chainsaw Massacre guy. And uh, I was hoping to get a, just be able to show off some unique drops, but I might make a separate video on that if I'm able to get uh, most or all of them. Also, this guy. Okay, so the deadly spheres are actually pretty much immune to uh, projectile damage. I now see. That uh, that explains why I was only doing like one or two damage to him. I hate these nail heads. But um, yeah, I suppose that'll just do it. We've got a moonstone. All right, I'm getting some stuff. It's just all old stuff that we've already seen. But. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. For this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also check out the description for the Dark Twitch TV channel, as well as um, all my social media gubbins and, and things like that. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.